my business card. In Winsterville, Ohio, that is lawyer Emmanuel Oluwale. On his own law office property, he is dumping out trash. Okay. All right. Huh? If you don't mind, just so, yeah, if you don't mind, can we see your ID? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, well, that is pretty cool. That's a slick uh, business card. Yep. All right. I'll give it to him. Um, you can keep doing what you're doing. We're just, again, we're kind of concerned. Understand. Yeah. Understand. Seeing somebody dump up just stuff it. there. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yeah. Right. Just don't oh. run it. Oh. Don't, run, don't, don't run my card. Don't run my ID. Huh? Don't run my ID. Don't run your ID? I have no reason to. He is right. Well, we're going to at least mark Sorry. it down. We're going to take down your oh, information. What? Nope. I'm on my property putting trash in my trash Okay. Can. But this is, wait, this is not just your property. It's several people's I property. I understand. Okay. But I'm not violating any law. So don't no run one my said ID. that you're violating, violating no, any no, law. No, 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 no. Don't run my ID. I'm a lawyer. I know my rights. Okay. I'm not violating any law. I'm on my property. There's no suspicion. No one called anybody. So don't run my ID. I only identify myself so that this won't escalate. That's fine, but we can still mark down who we're out with, and so that's what we're going to do. No. Yes. You didn't stop me. This, don't turn yes. this into an issue. Sir, you are turning this into an issue. We're just simply marking down who we're out with. Yeah. So he's I'll just going to write it down on a piece of oh, paper. It's just, just, yeah. it's just your name. Why? Because, sir, we are out with you because we are <laughs> concerned that you are illegally dumping. But, but you, you already discovered. Do you want me to show you my office? I understand that you're here, but I don't know if this dumpster belongs to you or somebody else in the in the. It belongs complex. to me. To you and you alone. Yes. Can you prove that that dumpster belongs to you and you alone? No, he does not have to prove yeah, he owns the dumpster. Point, though, it? If it's also other units. So what? We belongs to everybody. We're paying okay. for it. It doesn't really matter if it belongs to all the units. That's fine. Just give me back my ID. Thank there. you. Mm. Hello everybody, I'm David Schuster and thanks for watching. Emmanuel Oluwali says he had no problem with the officers checking to see if there was illegal dumping. The problem came when they wanted to run his ID. With no suspicion, no call to police prompting this incident, taking his ID and checking to see what it may show is against settled case law. Now, you may think, well, if you don't have any criminal record or a suspended license, why object? Well, the law is the law and police take an oath to abide by the Constitution. Relatedly, legal experts say there is generally nothing wrong with an officer writing down on a piece of paper the name of somebody they talk to. Maybe the police want to put it in a report or a memo. But taking your driver's license and running a check on it means you are detained and cannot leave. And when there's no probable cause for such a detention, it violates the Constitution. Olawali so, believes he was the victim yeah, here of racial profiling, and it certainly seems that way. Why did the officers believe the word of this black man? They had his business card and a driver's license confirming he was who he said he was. His law office sign is on the building. This was a white man or a white lawyer. Would these cops have sought to run his driver's license? Well, while he got his business card and license back without police scanning or running it. However, when the cops got back in their cruiser, the body camera shows they did a background check anyway. All right, just turn around and get out of here, and then we'll yep. look him up. Yep. Put <laughs> Those are in my hands. When the police looked him up, they confirmed again he was who he said he was, with no criminal record. The city of Westerville says it is now investigating the conduct of these two Ohio police officers. As we've seen time and again, police often misuse their power, especially against people of color. Where's that guy? All right. All right. All right, let's get some here. here. He's trying to come. I don't give a f talking to. Hey, man, what, what is f paying that f attention? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, man. Record it. Record it. Record it. Record it. Record it. Look, look. It's right here. Okay. What did I do? All right. Do? All right. So what relax. If I tell you to look at me, it's you talk to us. All right. Is it a joke? I didn't do anything. All right. What happened? I'm talking to my what sister. What happened? I wasn't here. You, you weren't here. No. no. Okay, so do me a favor. Stand up for a second. You're gonna be detained. Why? I wasn't here. Until we figure out what's happening. We gotta figure out what's Listen, on. relax. Okay, you, you don't have to judge me though. No, yes, you're complying. being detained. Drop your cigar. Drop your cigar. It's simple, bro. We're here for, to, to solve an issue. And you're depriving us from resolving the stupid issue. Police in Miami Beach, Florida, via the Ross and Law Firm, would falsely detain and arrest this man for allegedly not following their commands. All right. So what happened? It, 
I just got here. Okay. I'm what that's what, you're not giving me a chance to talk do you to work, you. Do sir? you work here? No, do you live here? I, I am from Texas. And you're staying in this hotel? No. Okay, so. I was on the street, uh -huh. and I knew my nephew was in here. Who's your nephew? The little baby? The baby's my nephew. Okay. And then this, is, that your, this, is, that your, is that your sister-in-law? Yes, I'm coming to check on him. Back to her. That one here was up. Okay. I just walked in. No, no, no. He's not talking about you. Okay. okay. So I continue. I just literally walked in. Uh -huh. I was talking to her, trying to get everything calmed down. I'm trying to figure it out. The man in cuffs simply cannot believe he is accused of doing something he simply did not do. We see an officer that was violating our client's rights because he was trying to question him without reading him his Miranda rights. They never read him his Miranda rights, and they were trying to question him. This is Adam Rawson, founder and CEO of the firm. Nothing in here shows us that he was actually the suspect. And if you think about it, he was never arrested for domestic violence. Why wasn't he arrested for domestic violence? Because he was not the one who did anything. He did nothing wrong. We love showing these videos. Long story short, the case was completely dismissed. Um, we, you know, our client was on vacation down here in South Beach. He lives uh, out of state. He found us, hired us, and within a very short period of time, we were to able to get all charges dismissed, um, which is great, but it still, you know, doesn't prevent a false arrest, a false mugshot, the fact that our client had to pay us money, you know, all these things that we wish we never had to do. But luckily he hired us. Luckily we were able, you know, to do what we do and, and get the case dismissed. Please do subscribe to the Ross and Law Firm YouTube channel as they go over the legality of many body cam videos. This would not be the first time Miami Beach was sued. The ACLU got involved previously on behalf of a gay former Miami Beach resident who was wrongfully arrested in retaliation for calling 911 to report that two Miami Beach police officers were beating and kicking a man who lay handcuffed on the ground near Flamingo Park. The lawsuit highlights two systemic issues that reach Far beyond this case, the practices of unlawfully targeting gay men for arrest without probable cause and harassing and arresting people who observe, document, and or report police misconduct. In 2022, Mariah Maple was visiting Miami Beach from New York. She was recording videos with friends when she noticed police activity and began recording cell phone video. She would be hit with a police bike and then pepper sprayed, all of which a camera caught. Police would claim she was in violation of an ordinance. In a statement to CBS Miami, Maple gave us this. Watching these videos and reliving this moment makes me sick to my stomach. These officers should have protected me. Instead, they attacked me and violated my rights. Rinse, wash, repeat.